Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful Mila Magic square from by Magda de Lange. I hope I'm telling the name the right way. That's a lovely square. I like to make it because one of you, one of my subscribers, uh, continuously <laughs> asking for it. And I like this square too, so I want to share it with you. I want to make her happy. Uh, and the other name of this square is Istanbul Magic. So, which make the connect I need <laughs> for this square. Um, for these ones, I use 4mm and 4.5mm with the same category 2 cotton and acrylic blanch yarn. So I can give you the measurements. You can see the results. It's four and a quarter inch, 11 centimeters. Yeah, 11 centimeters. Actually, this one is 10 and a half. This one is 11. Uh, four inch and a half. That's not too big change between them. And this time I'm gonna use this yarn. That's a category three yarn. It's a little hard for you to find this yarn. So you can use any kind of yarn you choose. But I think cotton yarns will look better with this um, square. And with this, I'm going to use a 4.5 millimeter hook. It's a little tricky, but easy square. I hope you like my tutorial. By the way, I'm going to put the written pattern uh, in the description box. If you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start. Start with a slip knot and make five chains. Join from the first chain. Chain one, do not count this as a stitch. Into this ring, we are gonna make 10 single crochets. Insert, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten sorry i made a change here a little change because when you make 10 single crochet and join you see that's my starting point for the next row when you complete all of them there will be a kind of huge empty space between these two and I don't like it so you can follow the original pattern of course but I made nine single crochets and join with a slip stitch and use this slip stitch as my last single crochet I hope that makes sense. Just cut the yarn. Okay. Join from 
any single crochet I'm gonna join from here where we left chain four that's my first treble I'm gonna make trebles for this row yarn over twice insert into the same place grab the yarn I have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. I'm hiding this tail too, I'm working around it. Yarn over twice. Insert into the next and put two trebles. One, two, three. One, Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And for this row, we're gonna repeat this. Just put two trebles into each stitch. I'm just making this for a demonstration, so I'm gonna cut this tail, but you will uh, need to hide this for the opposite side, to the opposite side too, okay? Just use a yarn needle and go opposite side. And now I'm gonna hide this tail, just put it from left to right, make it treble. And give it to the opposite side again. Work around these two tails together, two strands together. Put one more here. Let me count. It's 18. I'm gonna put two more into this slip stitch. Oops, sorry, sorry. I made double crochets. I mean two trebles join from this third chain make a slip stitch make one more chain and cut the yarn now I'm gonna make single crochets insert from anywhere <laughs> make a chain and put two single crochets into one stitch one two into the next put two
next to two repeating this and don't forget to hide this tail with the same way we did here as you attend I complete the row then join from this first stitch Chain one, cut the yarn. Now we're gonna turn our work and work this way. You see, while you are working the same direction, your stitch will be right side of your stitch here. And when you turn your work, it will be the left side here. I'm showing this because you can confuse maybe. Now insert from a here. Just let me check. Now I'm going to insert from here, chain one and put a single crochet into the same place. Into the next, I'm going to put a treble, yarn over twice, insert, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two into the next put a single crochet and a treble into the next a single crochet and into the next stitch put a treble a single crochet treble keep repeating this that's how it looks complete this row this way now I made a treble into the next I'm gonna put a single crochet then I will finish with a treble Join from the single crochet. By the way, it looks 10 times better with this yarn. I really, really love this yarn. It's yarn art jeans, but it won't fit any a, a square or a, something like that sometimes you need to find the right yarn now I'm gonna join from this single crochet here Make a chain and into the same place put a single crochet. Chain three. Skip this treble into this next stitch. Single crochet. Chain three. Skip the treble into the single crochet stitch. Put a single crochet. 
I single crochet. Repeat this till the end and do not cut your yarn. We are gonna keep repeat going uh, with this color. I'm gonna complete the row with three chains and join from this first single crochet. Then make a slip stitch into this three chain space. Chain three. That's a double crochet and put two more double crochets here. One, two. Into this next three chain spaces, we're gonna put three single crochets, three single crochets. One, two, three. Skip the stitch. One, two, three. Into the next space, put three double crochets. And into this next uh, space, we are gonna make a corner, but let me check if it's two chains, yes. Three treble, two chains, three treble. One, two, three, two chains, and three more. Two double crochet, three double crochets, three single crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and the corner with Three trebles, two chains, three trebles. For this one side, you're gonna have three, six, nine, twelve, if fifteen, eighteen uh, stitches. Okay, uh, just complete the row. I made the last corner and join from this third chain. That's the last row. We're gonna make a single crochet row. Actually, uh, there is one more border row with picots, but if you are using this for a blanket or a bag, maybe uh, it won't work. Join it won't work with uh, this picot, so I'm not gonna show it. Now join from in a corner, put three single crochets into the corner. One, two, three. Starting from here, you're gonna put one single crochet into each stitch.
that's all just put one single crochet into each stitch and for the corners you're gonna make three single crochets i'll see you at the end i'm at the end i made a the last single crochet now i'm gonna close here just cut the yarn by the way i changed the color i almost forgot to mention it because it was too shiny for me now skip this first single crochet insert from the second stitch And insert in the middle of this last stitch here so how we close this square of course you can use slip stitch too but it will be easier for you uh, while you are joining them a slip stitch can be a problem Because if you are new, you can assume that slip stitch as a stitch. And with this way, you don't have to worry about it. And that's all. I think it looks gorgeous. I hope you like it too. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Silly Crochet is my Instagram address. It's also my website, Revelry, Etsy, Pinterest, blah, blah. You can find me everywhere, almost everywhere. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.